It's another wet and windy and fairly miserable day here in the south west of Scotland. We've had a lot of days like this recently and it's not great for taking your mini drones out to fly. But it gives me the opportunity to test these master air screw stealth propellers that I was sent by my good friend John Blair. Now John has his own YouTube channel, it's called Blair Air, and I'll leave a link to John's YouTube channel in the description of this video. There's a good video in there where John takes these propellers out and he tests the sound level of them compared with the original props on the DJI Mini 3 Pro. Now, if you want to watch that video, go over to John's channel and have a look. I'm going to replicate that, but I'm going to do it slightly differently. I'm going to test these stealth propellers indoors and I'm going to use an audio decibel meter to see if there is actually any sound difference in the stealth props compared with the normal props. So let's get Caledonia set up and ready to go. So the way I'm going to do this test is I am going to hover Caledonia by DJI Mini 3 Pro approximately here and I'm going to hold this decibel meter just underneath her until the point where she goes up and holds position and then we'll record for maybe 10 seconds the reading on the decibel meter. Then I'll change the props over to a set of the stealth props and see if there's any difference. So here is Caledonia with her original props and here's the decibel reading on the meter. Now to carry out this test, I have turned off the obstacle avoidance in Caledonia so that when I bring the decibel meter underneath her, she won't try to fly off. Here we go. So here's the decibel reading. Now let's try switching over the props to a set of the stealth props. Now one of the things I've noticed about these master air screw propellers is that they don't come with any indication of where on the drone they have to be fitted. So you have to be very careful in where you fit them and you have to match them up with the original propeller and the air screw propeller to make sure that the curve matches in the same way. So here's one that does match and here's one that doesn't match. So obviously this is going to be for the opposite side. Now if you want to know where to fit your propellers on the DJI Mini 3 Pro with these new master air, air screw stealth props, it's quite difficult to work out. They do have a little notch and the ones on the opposite side don't have a notch. So you can differentiate them, but they're marked with an R and an N. And it doesn't make much sense to me because you might think that the R means right side of the drone, but it doesn't. An N, I don't know what that stands for. So if anyone can figure out what the R, <laughs> what the R and the N actually stand for and how that fits into working out where to put them, please let me know. The way that I'm doing it is I'm going to visually match them up with the propellers so that I make sure I've got them on in the right place. So that's Caledonia fitted with our new master air screw stealth props. Now John sent me a set of black ones and he sent me a set of orange ones and he sent me a set of green ones. Now, if you're familiar with the west coast of Scotland, you'll understand why I haven't used the green ones or the orange ones. But instead, I've gone for the safe black ones. 
<laughs> so, it's time to get Caledonia up and see what the reading is on the decibel meter. Now, the first and most important thing is, does she take off and remain stable with these new props on? Well, fingers crossed, let's see. Seems to be fairly stable. Let's get the decibel meter up and see what the reading is. Well, in first glance, it looks to me like these stealth propell propellers are actually slightly louder. <laughs> so looking at the decibel meter, which I think is pretty accurate, shows that these stealth props from Master Airscrew are a couple of decibels louder than the original props that come with the DJI Mini 3 Pro. So if you're thinking about using these to sneak up on sheep or Nessie or anything else or sneak up on people, then you're probably better off using the slightly quieter original props that come with the DJI Mini 3 Pro. I don't know what the stability is going to be like with these props. They look, they're, they're slightly different shape. They have this upturned uh, end, which is, yeah, I suppose it's the way that the aircraft have them, whether it's any good for stability, I don't know. They're advertising them as stealth. It certainly doesn't make any difference to this, the, the, the noise level other than making it a couple of decibels louder. So, will I be using these? They're a good set of spares, I suppose, depending on the performance when you take them out. In the next video, I will probably take them out and do a, f a test light to see if these use any more power from the battery. And the way I'll test that is, I'll do a flight with one battery and see how long until I get the, the low signal warning. And then I'll do a flight with the original propellers and see how long until I get the low battery warning. So watch out for that video coming soon.